waveform detection using fuzzy logic trying to detect these different waveforms so we have those uh, membership functions that uh, as you change the input waveform you get a different activation so we're looking at symmetry of the signal and sharpness example for square yeah you have high activation triangle yeah so that does make sense left trapezoid right left trapezoid we're getting something yeah we need a bit of a bit more noise and so we expect sharpness is low square so highly symmetrical so that makes sense and sharpness is low that also makes sense let's say for trapezoid let's compare the two it's only also highly symmetrical it's pretty much yeah the same so based on also have uh, sharpness is uh, has um, low activation is high so meaning it's not very sharp so it's same as for square and that's why we're having trouble distinguishing between the two I'd expect the sharpness or square to be high is uh, slightly higher as you know we have gpt helping us out suggesting uh, printing the activation level sounds good however is there any option to plot the actual numbers on top of one of the charts for example can we overlay these values on top of the symmetry and sharpness membership functions as uh, dots of different colors yes you can definitely overlay the activation levels on your symmetry and sharpness membership function plots okay can you check the python code we already sending those um we're already doing it can you find the relevant code please check above you should have the python code let me know if you have trouble finding it it's generating very slowly again doesn't make sense do we do we send this already yes we did i suspect we need to start a new conversation because it forgot about the code should we just update it here we already have that code here is the current code that we have yes those should be these two plots we want to overlay that on top of them the code it's a plot container okay right it seemed to have access to the javascript so we have the scatter plot and we also adding these markers symmetry activation trace the centroid symmetry membership function symmetry activation trace we still have the one trace let's do this one by one get rid of that symmetry activation trace and can comment this out and we're getting some sort of error And when we get the error, we'll play some music to relax. There's nothing um, indicating an error. Must be the names. What's the data symmetry activation low? What we are sending activation low. Seems legit. So the terminal seems okay. Right, because the problem with JavaScript. Of course it is. JavaScript. Never understand. Is it line 101 or 94? Ah, uh, okay. I know. No, wait. I don't know. You don't have the fuzzy data. Do have the fuzzy data? Yeah, it's actually 124, isn't it? 124. Symmetry membership function. Symmetry activation trace. Must be an array. Why? It is an array y values are an array yeah i don't want to ask uh, github copilot because it won't have all the context yet this error and around this code let's inspect and correct it why don't you correct it <laughs> i'll just use the code what so did i need to i need to add this to keep one as well 
Yes, looks like. Okay, just bombarded my craft if uh, maybe the original thing gave was correct. Right, seems like it was correct. So I have the activation, the symmetry activation level. So with the, right, so we're actually moving around, so this is cool. Uh, <laughs> what's the, <laughs> that's just the red. Symmetry activation, and what's the blue and the green? Symmetry activation, and yes, we'll have to do a more of this monitoring. Yeah, we actually want to get rid of that. Say, working well. Um, right, now the question is this red, green, blue. Yeah, we need to sort it out later. Might do it next time. So I'll leave you with some. Amazing music. Yeah, if you can sing maybe as well, you can you can do a lot of TikTok videos or something. The, I'll add the instructions to it and uh, wrap it up in a proper page. I'll see you later. This is what bye bye sounds. Two hands. Bye.